lock the outboard in the full tilt up position. Position the outboard so the drain hole is facing downward. Remove the drain plug and drain the engine oil into an appropriate container. Do not use a crankcase oil pump when changing the oil or engine damage may occur. After the initial oil has been drained, temporarily install the drain plug. Disengage the tilt lock and lower the outboard. Wait a minute to allow the remaining oil that was trapped in the engine to return to the drain. Return the outboard to the full tilt position and drain the remaining oil. Inspect the drain plug seal and replace if damaged. Lubricate the seal on the drain plug with oil and install. At this point, we will change the oil filter. To do this, place a rag or towel below the oil filter to absorb any spilled oil. Unscrew the old filter by turning the filter to the left. Clean the mounting base. Apply a small layer of clean oil to the filter gasket. Do not use grease. Screw the new filter on until the gasket contacts the base. Then tighten three quarter to one turn. Remove the oil fill cap and add the recommended oil to the midpoint of the oil level operating range, adding approximately one liter or 1.1 quarts of oil to an empty crankcase will bring the oil level to the midpoint of the oil level range. Reinstall the oil fill cap. Idle the engine for five minutes and check for leaks. Stop the engine and check the oil level on the dipstick. Add oil if necessary. To find out more information on changing the engine oil on 15 and 20 horsepower Mercury EFI outboards, refer to a Mercury owner's manual or visit mercurymarine.com and click on the dealer locator tab.